So what is going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, got a door, welcome to another zombie map video, Imagine this that. one is Nazi zombie on stairs, original. this is quite a freaky one so I do hope you guys enjoy it, let's uh, go in here and press F to play radio, not music. <laughs> That's horrible, what the heck. If you have your volume on loud. This f sounds really freaky. I don't quite get what this map's about. I say go to sleep, okay? So this is a, a horror map called Nazi Zombie Stairs. Quite a few jump scares in this map apparently. So I'm not looking forward to that. Oh crap, that was loud as hell. But um, I do hope you guys are having a great day. It's Saturday, the weekend is here. I'm kind of worried about going further down because we never know what might pop up. Got help there, we can buy a M1911. It's not too bad, but oh, here's where the zombies are. I'm kind of scared about what sort of uh, stuff we can get. Like, are the weapons going to be really crap all the time? So, Arms, arms Corpse M14 for a thousand. Okay. They just play the same stuff, yeah. Alright, I'm not too scared about that. But I don't know why these zombies are called Jeffs. You see down the bottom, it says Jeffs left. 12. I don't have a lot of ammo. So I'm worried on how this is going to work out. And Killing zombies while on stairs, like kniving them, is the worst idea ever. Sweet, there we go. Let's get this thing. It's an M14. It's pretty bad. With fully auto mod. Oh, This is... This is nice. I feel like we can survive for a little while with this thing. This looks sweet. I recently upgraded my monitor, so uh, I'm playing at a higher refresh rate than normal. Don't know if this comes across in the video, but this game is looking smooth as silk. Like when I turn, it looks. Whoa! Jesus Christ. What the frick was that? I knew there was jump scares, but I didn't know that was so close in. And that. Oh my god, that made me jump out of my seat. I'm sorry if that scared you guys. There might be a few more. I can't guarantee. I can't not guarantee that there will be more jump scares. Oh my god. That's actually. Oh my god. This just. This just looks like hell. This is basically hell. And this map's supposed to be freaky throughout. And what the heck? Where are you coming from? Okay, so we've got a door here. This looks. This is very, like, weird looking. I like, I've been kind of uh, a bit iffy about wanting to play this map or not because it's freaky as hell, but no, we're not scared. What the heck? This is trippy as hell. All sorts of signs on the walls. We've got that thing looking at us. This is this is so weird. The frick? Why is it looking at me? Do I go up to it? I'm going to just leave it, but oh, we've got a little... Oh, shoot, man. It actually works like this. So that's the electricity there. This is the weirdest layout map I've ever seen. I've never seen anything quite as... I don't know what the word is. This is just creepy. So we've got double tap there. And is that someone on top of double tap? That's a dead soldier. With like an axe in its face. That looks, that looks so gruesome. That's horrible. What's this do? So this is just, this is for a Uzi with metallic buttstock. And here we have the mystery box. There's so many wicked weapons around on the walls. We're definitely getting this box. Alright. Let's use the most of double points while we can. But I'm sorry in advance if I scare anyone with this video. I'm just as scared as you are. I don't, I don't go very well with um, horror games as such and horror maps. Like, I got A in isolation, and I still haven't really even touched that game. Because I've been a little scared of playing that, to be honest. Gun juice is running low. Right. What is the box going to give us? Lots of juicy weapons. Really? Really? Bouncing Bettys as a... The heck? How do I use these? I can't switch weapon or anything. This is so weird. I can't use the Bettys. That's so peculiar. Right, we still got like four zombies left. Don't know if they spawned down there at all. Has that thing moved? I 
part of me feels like we should go over and investigate. We'll do that in a anyway. round or two. But I'm quite tense right now. Very, very tense. And we got, like, this is so trippy. So we got, like, all these little floating cubes for the perks. And we got, like, weird perks on their sides. Yeah, they spawn in there. Damn, they just appear out of nowhere. They just appear from the corner. But you see, it's like a... Look, almost that like could be like a Bible ending. I don't want to talk too ahead of myself. So many zombies are just plain drunk. Oh, they're dropping like bad habits. But I don't usually play scary maps because I'm just a wimp. Full, just, just in general. But like, I honestly, I can't swap weapons like I'm pressing 2. I'm pressing Y on my controller because I'm a controller noob. This thing's glitched, so um, I'm gonna just take Figures. it, Piece and I can't shit. swap weapons. I've just I'm just stuck to one weapon now, which is the Uzi with metallic buttstock. So that's just what we're gonna have to roll with. But I recently got a monitor where the refresh rate is 144 hertz, and like I've always played World at War at like 300 frames a second, which has been crazy. But this makes the biggest difference in the world, like. I'm, I'm not even playing on 144 hertz, I'm playing on 100, and it's so smooth, everything just, it just looks so smooth. If you've got a gaming PC that doesn't have a 144 hertz rate, or just higher than a 60, you really don't know what you're missing out on. I mean, well you, you will realise what you're missing out on when you get this. Right, screw it, let's go over to this thing, I really don't want to, I'm freaking nervous. I'm like, I, as you can tell, I'm like quiet as hell. I don't want to go any further. I don't even know if I can walk there. Obviously, you must be able to, to get Jug. But I'm, I'm too much of a wimp right now. What we'll do is we'll spend one more round in this room. And then we're going to go ahead and move over and buy that debris. I am no, I'm not staying near Jug whatsoever. If I get, if I go there, it's simply just to buy Jug and that's it. No way in hell am I staying there. That looks so freaky. So these, these only things appear out of nowhere. To make it even more demonic and scary. But I'm loving the Uzi. I love these sort of weapons. Map makers, if you see this, I love maps which just have this, all the, all the Black Ops 1 and the COD 4 weapons just thrown in there. Really mixes things up a little bit. And we got the Mob of the Dead style user interface. Freaking awesome. But I'm really scared right now. Like I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't want to do anything too outrageous because, like, I don't want to. I don't want to scream. I don't want to scare you guys. I'm like, legitimately quite scared. I'm good for perks right now. No more spawning there. I mean, like, I could get jug because I'm good with ammo. I don't know. Part of me feels like we should go get Jug. You, you know what? Screw it. We're going to take the zombies down to about four. Hey, someone needs to clean up those freak bits. And then it's screw it. I need to just go with the mentality. It's just a video game. Like, it's not going to kill me. I'm actually going to take one of my headphones out just in case it is freaking loud. Here we go. So there's the... Th screw you. Yes. It's just a freaking look. Ha! It's not going to kill us. We're fine. It's just... It, I Seriously, I just need to calm down. Like, honestly, that was not scary at all. That wasn't even a... I thought it was going to pop up and come to life. Yeah, don't don't leave comments calling me a wimp. Because I'm not. I'm sure if you were playing this, you'd do the exact same. Right, let's open up this. So we've got what looks like an army tank. The heck? Can we go inside it? Nope. But uh, this leaves us... Oh, wow, okay. Why is it so dark? I'm scared I'm going to fall off. Okay, so that doesn't look good. That looks like some sort of spikes. Does that hurt us? Nope. It's literally just just an object. And Oh, press F to wake up from the nightmare. 22,000 and we have Pack-A-Punch. And we also have the... Org A1. So this is pretty cool. Got a Bible ending straight away. I feel like we can get this Bible ending pretty easily. 22k is a pretty nice, pretty nice amount if I'm honest. So um, stick the Uzi. It's going to get us some points. It's going to be pretty damn good. I don't think you can actually fall off the edge. We can buy ammo off the wall. Pretty simple there. 
We'll just stick here, so boys, boys and girls, sit yourselves down. This wasn't creepy at all. That was just the one little jump scare. I honestly thought this map was going to be way worse than it is. Look at the range. Need to patch that. Man, that's crazy. If that was in multiplayer, everyone would be going mental. Right, ammo. That's how we do. That is how we do it. I'm going to get some money from the double tap root beer machine. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, let me know what you're getting up to this weekend. As for me, it's just playing games. But that is honestly the best weekend ever. Like, uh, I think it was it was Thursday night. I was just sitting there at about 11 o'clock. And I, I, turn, I put Pokemon on. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and 3DS. I literally checked the time and four hours had passed. And it was like 3 a.m. I literally, like, it's been a while since I've been addicted to a Pokemon game where I sit down and I lose time playing a Pokemon game. It yeah, has been a long ass time because, like, Pokemon X and Y, I got X, but I didn't, I didn't finish it. And I felt really bad with myself because I always finish Pokemon games. Like, I always bought them when I was younger. And it's like, it's a Pokemon game, right? You just, you just play them until you finish them. That wasn't the case with uh, Pokemon X. But, with this one, I am so looking forward to finishing it. And I've heard the stuff that you get after you complete it is absolutely awesome. So, I'm just hyped to play Pokemon. And Smash Brothers. You guys know about the Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is wicked. I'm still waiting for my GameCube adapter to come in the post. So I can actually play um, with my GameCube controller on the Wii U version. Because that's the best control. That's the best control gamepad without a shadow of a doubt. And it's GameCube. Like... It's obviously the best, and it's kind of annoying that I'm still waiting for this adapter so I can play it, but um, that'll be good fun. But it's like, it's Christmas time, it's all hectic out, everyone's like shopping, everywhere's crazy busy. I don't know, like, I, I just feel like I've, it's come to that time where I'm not very excited about Christmas anymore. I don't know if any of you guys watching feel the same, but if you do, uh, then you'll obviously sympathise here, like... I don't know. I just don't feel very excited for Christmas. The only thing that's great about Christmas is the food. Like, undeniable, the food is going to be absolutely OP. The turkey stuffing. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. That's my favourite time, favourite thing about Christmas. Some of you guys might be like, well, it's all about the presents, which is like, of course, yeah. But like, I don't really want anything for Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm alright. It's, it's weird. So I'll, I'll probably just get like a pair of socks for Christmas or something from my uh, parents. Because <laughs> they're just like, no, we're not getting you games, you have enough. Have some socks. Or maybe one, there, there will be a time in my life where I'll get socks for Christmas and I'll be happy. Because I'm sure like, I, get, I get my granddad's socks every year and he seems pretty, he seems pretty happy with it. So, can't go wrong and you always need socks, like... There's things that people don't realise. Like you need socks in your life, and when and when like you when, like people buy you school shoes, right? You're probably thinking, oh, what a crap present. I'm actually gonna leave that insta kill because we want to get some points, don't we? To get the Bible ending. This has been a bit of a different video. Like I expected there to be more of this map, but there really isn't. It kind of let us down a little bit, but um, still scary though. Still got some horror. I'm hoping maybe that 22k will actually take us somewhere else. It'll teleport Man's us somewhere, and we have to do something feed. else. It's a shame that the Bouncing Betty glitched, and I just have to live with this weapon, but it's all good. It's all gravy. And the double tap's actually the uh, World at War double tap. It's not like the Black Ops 2 double tap, so I'm not going to buy that. So it's going to take us even more... It's going to take even more bullets to kill zombies as we go up the rounds, but it'll get me more points, which is essentially what we want. Anyone want some bad guts? Anyone want some bad guts? I'm hoping there's some massive jump scare, because uh, that first one definitely shook me up, and I was almost shaken up for another one. You know when you, like, you get scared and you expect something more to happen, and then it doesn't? It kind of scares you, just waiting in anticipation, and then when it does happen, you're sort of not as scared. Oh, this is a weird question, but leave it down below in the comment section. What is your biggest fears? Um, some people like they hate spiders. Spiders are their biggest fears. Um, something like roller coasters, heights, snakes, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think what mine is, because like, I'm not scared of roller coasters because I go on them, but 
sometimes I'm like really hyped to go on one, and then sometimes I'm just like, nah, nah, that's a bit, that's a bit too bit too much for me. I can't take that. It's weird. I think though, what am I scared of? I don't really know what I'm scared of. Um, I'm not really scared of spiders. I like jump if I see them, but I'm never like, oh my god, get that away from me. I can't, I can't live with my life right now. I've never experienced a snake, so I can't say I'm scared of snakes, but it's an animal. You could say the same about a spider, but um, I don't know, some people are scared of fish. And like, that really puzzles me. Like, how can you be scared of fish? Like, if they see like the sight of a dead fish, it makes them go absolutely crazy. It makes them feel sick. And they're, they're just scared to the bone. I don't get that. It's weird. But anyway, leave, leave a comment. That'd be awesome. Oh! What the? The heck? No way did I fall. The heck is going on? Is this it? Am I, am I dead now? Um, map maker. Um, you kind of uh, you kind of screwed me over there. I don't know how I fell through that. But uh, this 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 floor looks nice. It looks lovely. I might have to restart. I feel like I'm gonna have to restart and get back to this point. So what I'll do is I'm gonna see. Can I get to the edge of the map and die? This is so weird. That really shouldn't be a thing. It's just throw you back on the map or just kill me. Cause there's nothing here. Can I fall off? I'm gonna fall off into the abyss. Ah! Okay, now. Oh, my gun's turned sick white. But yeah, this is the things map makers don't want you to see. Um, falling through the map. That looks crazy though. But uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, to get that Bible ending. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I have a pretty different setup. I've got the FN Foul and I stuck with the M14. But it's actually been working out very well because we've been building points pretty easily. And I've just been staying in the usual spot. Funnily enough, on my attempt to playing this, I actually fell down again. This map is so unforgiving. I went to get Jug. And as I went to the bit to get Jug, I didn't realise that I overstepped the actual platform. And boom, I died. So, this is attempt number three now. But it's all going very well. And all I've got is Jug. I uh, didn't go for any more perks. Didn't go for any more weapons besides these two, actually. And uh, we've got an insta-kill there, but I'm not going to go for it. We want to. We're just hoarding points. And uh, it's been a little dangerous. As, as I'm holding out here and I think they've stopped spawning and I push my way out... Uh, more spawn behind me, it looks. But this is looking pretty tidy now. And uh, this could be by the ending. This could be another area. It could be a, a massive big troll. And then my uh, my hopes and dreams of there being more to the map uh, will be there. But right, let's go ahead. Um, I've got 24. Uh... Alright, so if we can get this open. Come on. There we go. So we've got 22, 980. Just about got enough. And uh, let's see, let's really hope we don't fall off, because uh, that would absolutely suck. So, could be saying bye-bye zombies, could be saying uh, hello to another area. Let's see what happens. What's going on, let's buy that monkey. Game over, you're waking in a car near Meaty's house. So, sign, that's a, a tribute to Meat Wagon. If he's watching this, that's, uh, I guess, the map was made for him. But there we go. A pretty quick and simple map. Um, I expect there to be a lot more jump scares. Whoever made that map, you're very good at making very atmospheric, scary maps. So please make more. And also, make just make it so we can't fall off. That would be lovely. But if you want to check this, uh, this uh, map out and play it for yourself, I'll leave a link down below your in the description. But thank wait. you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. It's like we're bringing videos daily. So you'll expect another Custom Zombies tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you guys soon.